Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Tuesday, March 28th, 2023. And now, here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Carnival Corporation is continuing to make enormous strides in its recovery from the pandemic. The company recorded its highest ever booking volume for future sailings during the first quarter. That's in large part due to its stellar performance in North America, writes global tourism reporter DeWitt Habtamarium. Carnival CEO Josh Weinstein said during its earnings call on Monday that North American booking volumes have exceeded 2019 levels during the last six months. He added the company had seen demand surge across all regions. Carnival does not disclose specific numbers for bookings. Although Carnival is doing well in Europe, the company is struggling to make a recovery in both Asia and Australia. Haptamarium reports Carnival has been hit hard by China not reopening to international cruise travel. Next, New York City is tweaking its iconic I Love New York slogan to We Love New York City as part of a new marketing campaign. Haptamarium writes the new slogan, like many others, faces an uphill climb in gaining acceptance from the public. Haptamarium reports New York City is launching the campaign to help boost civic engagement as well as pride in the city. Catherine Wild, a local business executive, admitted that New Yorkers largely felt pessimistic about the state of the city, adding the widespread negativity makes promoting tourism difficult. Wild said the new slogan is supposed to inspire New Yorkers to take concrete action to improve the city. Hab to Marion writes marketing campaigns can drive civic engagement, citing St. Louis as an example. However, Hab to Marion notes the new campaign has largely been ridiculed in the press. One marketing expert acknowledged it's very difficult for tourism slogans to win community support, adding there have been more failures than successes. Habtamarian also writes that tourism slogans often struggle to gain acceptance because they can't tell people how to feel. Finally, the U.S. is making substantial progress in reducing the lengthy waits Indian travelers endure to obtain visitor visas. Wait times in some U.S. consulates in India have dropped below one year, reports Middle East and Asia reporter Amrita Ghosh and Asia editor Pidan Domabutia in Skiff's India Travel Daily Newsletter. Reducing visa visitor delays has been a major priority for U.S. consulates in India, a major tourism market for the U.S. Average wait times are roughly 250 days in New Delhi and 330 days in Mumbai. The consulate in Mumbai had recently announced it was bringing in consular officers from around the world to assist with its visa operations. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skiff Daily Newsletter at skiff.com daily. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the Brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, Brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for Brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.